Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. And thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I've got. I seen this was new. Well, it said new on the shelf sticker. I don't know if it's been out before. Please let me know in the comments if this has been out before. It's a beef dinner. There is the serving suggestion. And we've got a little traffic light system going on here. Made with British beef. Now this was £2.49. pence, And this is um, fresh as well. It's not frozen. Um, look at the salt content there. High salt. 38%. Well, salt is flavour. <laughs> um, let's have a look. At, without trying to ruin it. Well, it doesn't matter now anyway. Let's have a look. It's 400 grams. Little GB sticker there. Um, they are the ingredients while we're here. We might as well cover them. The allergens are sulfites, metabisulfite, wheat, and egg. Um, caution contains alcohol. Roast potatoes, 30%. Um, beef gravy, um, 28%. Any more in there? We can see cooked marinated beef brisket, 16%. There is the nutritional information if you want to have a look at that. By all means, go ahead. Per pack, 400 grams, 341 calories. Um, a little bit of spiel there at the top. It are cooked beef slices in beef and red wine gravy. There's your alcohol. With roast potatoes, carrots, peas and a Yorkshire pudding. Directions for use underneath. Fan 170, electric 190. Gas five for 25 minutes. That's what you do. So let's have a look. Let's, well, I'll get it open now. Right, there it is, look. So there's a bit of a, that's a bit, we'll see what it's like. I'm always a bit dubious when the old um, drawers start inflating, like, you know, it tells me it's been sat in there for a long time. Well, we'll have a bit of a sniff test now. So there's a procedure. I've just quickly had a look. You've got to peel back this compartment to remove these. So let's do the seal peel test. It's, oh, it's failed. It's failed the seal peel test. Yeah, look at that. Oh, well, it's just as well like that you don't have to keep that integrity because it has failed. So uh, um, you've got to keep that one as it is and take these out. The worktop is clean. There's your roast potatoes, look. The, the, Look like they need a good a good roasting, don't they? <laughs> Look like boiled potatoes. Well, effectively they are, I would imagine. They just need roasting. So that's what we're going to have to do now. So there is the procedure. If you want to have a look at it in a bit more detail, you can pause it. And I will do that procedure now. I did miss the in the microwave. You can actually microwave this as well. If you want to have a look at that, zoom in, pause that one. You, you know, crack on. What I've done with my roast potatoes, I've put them in the air fryer. Uh, they're doing now for five minutes. And you've got to pierce these compartments. And once after your five minutes is up, put this into... Put this into the air fryer or the oven on the bake setting, which I am you're going to use. Do it for 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, put your, put your diddy... Um, your, your Diddy um, Yorkshire pudding in for a further five minutes. <laughs> so it gets 15 and 5 is 20 and 5, 25 minutes all in all cooking time. Or you can do it in the microwave alternatively. But them roast potatoes, looking at them, they won't be roast potatoes, will they? They're more like boiled potatoes. When I did my uh, one of my meals, I couldn't fit it in the air fryer. I did it in the oven and I got a lovely comments saying you can cut this bit off. So that is what I'm going to do because I won't be able to fit that in my air fryer. I am going to cut that off now. I'm just chopping this off. See how easy it comes off. Oh, it's, 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 well, it's off anyway. That There it is. Just be careful these sharp edges. It's like a... It's like an addition of Blue Peter this, isn't it? <laughs> Take art. Take art, even. I've just chopped the edges off here, look. I'm going to get a file out in a minute and uh, file the edges down so they're nice and smooth so we don't have any sharp edges. 
Only kidding. Oh, whenever we went to Sellafield, um, whatever we done, we were not allowed sharp edges. So, you know, things keep with you, don't they? They really do. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It does help and it is free. I'm going to go live this Friday night at 8 o'clock. Please uh, tune in. Um, do a QA, and um, got some quizzes. Uh, we'll just have a good time, let your hair down. We'll see what happens. World Cup starts this weekend, doesn't it, on Sunday. Can't wait for that. Can't, really can't. Good bit of sport on television as well. It's on, you know, it's not on, it's free. Well, it ain't free because you pay a license, don't you? Um, but it's good that it's on television. We can all watch it, I think. Right, I'll bring you back in about another, well, about another 50 seconds. Luckily, it all fits in the air fryer. That, so that is good. Cutting that compartment off really does make a difference. So I'm going to get this going now. So with um, with this obviously being the air fryer, not the oven, because they were oven settings, I, I didn't put it on for 15 at 170. I turned it down to 160 and I did it for 11 minutes. And we will check it after that. We're on the final um, stage of it now. There's the um, roast potatoes. They're just getting a tinge on them. So they've got another five or six minutes to go. And you wouldn't get that if you did them in the microwave, would you? They'd just be like boiled potatoes. I have shook the compartments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, shake the compartments. I'm gonna, what I do now is put that back on. So all this goes now in the air fryer for another five minutes. It's done. Have a look, see what you think. Did it in the um, well, the air fryer on the bake setting, um, which is equivalent to the oven. Obviously, adjust the cooking times accordingly. There's your your sorry looking Yorkshire pudding, and these are your roast potatoes. Look. Right. Well, um, we'll get this open now. I think the seal peel test is is gone. I think. Yeah, it's, it's had it. You need to get in with them. Um, Use a knife or some scissors. That veg looks a bit. Uh, well, it's two and a half quid, isn't it? Well, let's see what that gravy is like. I'll just get rid of that. Put it in the bin. Have a look in there. I've got, I can't tip it up too much. I'll tell you what. Rather than me bring you, I'll bring you down to it. Have a look. The peas. Uh, peas look like they're, they're done. <laughs> There's your veg, and there's your beef. I'll, I'll get I'll get it out onto this plate now. I've um, I've put it together. You have plenty of gravy, and I'll show you the the beef. Um, because it does look in the picture, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? I'll be fair, but I will show you anyway. I'll bring you down, see what we get, because you've got to know what you're getting. Um, yeah, it looks pretty straggly. Little bits of fat there, look. There's your peas and your carrots, your Yorkshire pudding. I've put some gravy in there. I'll try and put a bit of life into it. And here's your um, roast potatoes, look. Right, I'm going to dissect it now. I'm going to get into the roast potato. Get that cut in half. Yeah, that's cooked. Nice and fluffy inside by the look of that. Yorkshire pudding. Well, just what you expect really from frozen Yorkshire puddings. Let's have a look at this meat. See what you think. I'm gonna try this now. Mm. Gravy is quite good as well. Um, I'm gonna dive into it some more. Let's try the the carrots. Carrots are soft as well, I like them soft, don't like them hardly done. Mm. Try the peas. The gravy's okay, it's, it's nothing special. It's well seasoned. I'll try the spud. Mmm. Spuds could do with a bit longer, really. I mean, you could spray them with a bit of oil and stick them in the air fryer on the air frying setting and get them nice and crisp. 
just little things like that just to pimp them up a bit to make it you know to make it how you want it really because they're only directions the cooking instructions a guide you know you've, you've got to sort of tinker and you know mess around a little bit but yeah definitely better done in the oven or or the air fryer than the microwave because then potatoes you won't get any brownness to them let's try the yorkshire pudding i know it's best to do your own yorkshire pudding mm. it's a sorry little fellow <laughs> i love yorkshire puddings and up north here we have yorkshire pudding on any if it's a roast dinner it doesn't matter what meat it is we have a Yorkshire pudding homemade. It's compulsory in our house. I know it's different all over the country, but where I'm from, here, got to have a roast potato, uh, Yorkshire pudding and roast potatoes. And I like mint sauce as well on my carrots and peas. I do like mint sauce. Have a look. It's it's nothing special, really, but it's, it's you know, it's... <laughs> It's, it's all right for two and a half quid. Certainly, um, I mean, it's not six quid, is it, like the M&S, but that was, you know, that was quite tasty, that M&S one. I know it was six quid, but that's what you get nowadays. The price is, I'm afraid. Mm. Not a lot to it, but it's basic. But it's all right. It's all right. It, it, give it a whirl. See what you think. I went. I, I, I bought this the other day, and I went in today. There was only a couple left on the shelves. So, and there was there was loads of them when I went. Not yet. Yeah, yesterday I went, and then today there's only a couple left. I noticed. See what you think. See what you think. Let me know if it's new or not. It might have been out years ago. This. So thanks for watching, I'm going to get into this now, I'm going to stick a load of mint sauce and a bit of horseradish on that beef and I'm going to get into this now, it's my lunch. I'm going to go live, like I say, Friday night, if I don't see you on the next video, I'll see you Friday night, 8 o'clock. Um, so and thanks for watching, thanks for the channel membership as well um, and yeah, take care, all the best and I'll catch you on the next one.